Southern California residents are always being warned to be prepared for the big one. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan found out whether any lessons can be learned here from the Nepal quake. For many Californians, it's hard to watch. The death, destruction and chaos after the massive Nepal earthquake and strong aftershocks. Seismologist Lucy Jones has made the study of earthquakes and planning for them her life's work. She says there are many lessons for Southern California to learn from the quake in Nepal. This was an expected earthquake, and we have a very similar expected earthquake. We're hearing about lack of water, <clears throat> lack of sewers, people scared of the aftershocks and living outside. <clears throat> All of that is what we see for ourselves. Mayor Eric Garcetti, who has pushed an ambitious agenda to strengthen vulnerable buildings and replace crumbling water pipes, also sees lessons for L.A. from the Nepal earthquake. If we don't act to strengthen the buildings that we have here, act to reinforce our entire network on water and communications, we can see devastation like what we see in Nepal. Garcetti says the city is doing things now. Uh, in council this coming week, we're going to have a vote on the strengthening of cell phone towers to make sure we can communicate with each other. But the mayor and earthquake experts acknowledge it will take decades in some cases to complete the more expensive projects. Richard Atwater, the executive director of the Southern California Water Committee, says water could be the region's downfall. And from a water standpoint, um, we're very vulnerable. We could um, be interrupted from our water supply for six months to up to three years. The experts say the lessons from the Nepal earthquake will take weeks or months in some cases to become clear. But California officials say they'll be watching closely to see what must be changed here in California. In La Cañada, Flint Ridge, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.